All right, folks, the movie's beginning and everybody's in their seat. As you're trying to watch a 10 minute intro that gives away too many details. Where do we sit? I don't know, where do we sit? I don't know, where do we sit? I don't know, what you, it was your idea to come to this movie. Yeah, but you came with me, so what the fuck do we do now? Oh, you got the tickets, didn't you? Yeah, but we, don't we have to read them and say where they are? No, the tickets say you can sit wherever the hell you want. For fuck's sake. Oh, sorry, somehow we didn't see you. I could have showed up on time, but that would have required effort. All right, now for the real show, which is overall a good movie that captures the 70s look of late night TV to a T. The black and white behind the scenes footage being really impressive. Mm -hmm. Nah. There's more build up than there are scares and the demonic possessions you've seen a million times before, but they are creepy to watch. Easily the best scene revolves around a skeptic performing hypnosis that did not go the way I thought it would. It has some awesome prosthetics and puppetry to portray the gore. And the climax where you're not sure how much of it is real or not was pretty disorienting. Let's see, what else? David Desmelch- What the hell? <sighs> Anyways, David Desmelch proves he can play a leading role that wasn't written by him. Most of the side actors are good, though the parapsychologist and the demonic girl are obviously the only ones with- Okay, seriously, this is in the backseat of a Chevy. These are the only two with any- Oh, come on! With any depth. The cliché demonic girl who always has a blank look and voice except for when she's possessed is still genuinely unnerving, even when she's in her normal state. The skeptic pissed me off with what a caricature he was. I know he's supposed to resemble James Randi right down to carrying a check, proving that magic is real. Just try and get through this. Try and get through this. But anyone who's watched Randy knows that he was calm, polite, and sophisticated when proving psychics were bullshit. This guy's just a fucking asshole. Like the fucking idiots in here. Why did I see this on a Friday night in Uptown? How hard is it to show up on time and respect the people around you? Paying money to get one chance and one chance only to watch a movie isn't the same as sitting on your fucking couch where you can talk, pause, rewind, go to the bathroom and-